Hey there, it's Ryan from All Forest Foods. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a tonic syrup that you can keep in the fridge and use one or two tablespoons of on a daily basis. We're doing this video in conjunction with a few of our other videos that we've put out recently to show you how you can integrate tonic herbs in your diet in ways that you might have not thought of before. When we tend to think of tonic herbs, and really any type of herb, we think of it mostly as um, a supplement that we take in capsule form, pill form, or tincture form, maybe even an elixir. But to fully integrate these into our lives, we need to think of new ways to use them and push the boundaries on how we are using them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make first make an extract of a few different herbs, and then we're gonna strain that extract, and then we're gonna add a little bit of juice concentrate and honey to it, and then we're gonna store that in the fridge. This is part one of the video, so I'm just going to uh, tell you about the herbs that we're using and then start the extraction process, and then we'll make another video where we actually uh, press the, the tincture and then add the other, the other components. So what this is, this is a daily tonic. It's going to be very nourishing for your uh, yang and your yin. It's going to be very nourishing for your jing and your shen. So it's a, a very balanced tonic. We're gonna extract it in one quart of brandy. And then after that extraction is done, like I was saying, we're gonna add a few other things to it that we have out here. So let's just get into the herbs and let's talk about what the herbs are doing and while we're including them. So, without further ado, here we go. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going, going to add three ounces of Eulithero, also known as Siberian ginseng. Of course, this is not a true ginseng like Penax ginseng is or American ginseng is. The reason why we're, we are adding Eulithero into this is because it is such a strong adaptogen. It increases mental acuity. It also increases our threshold for stress, both physical and mental, so it uh, promotes a type of endurance for physical activity and mental activity. It's great for a lot of people who are experiencing stress in their lives right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that to this jar. Again, you're, you want a jar that's larger than the quart because we're going to be adding herbs to it and then we're gonna add one whole quart of brandy. So you need something that, that's gonna hold everything. What I have here is a half gallon mason jar. So we have three ounces of Eulithero. Siberian ginseng, the strong adaptogen. Continuing with that adaptogen theme, we're going to add three ounces of ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is the Ayurvedic adaptogen. Unlike all other adaptogens, ashwagandha is unique in that it's not stimulating to your central nervous system, but it actually relaxes it. This makes it a very special adaptogen because it can both promote healthier levels of energy while also relaxing you and relaxing the central nervous system. Like the Eulithero, this is perfect for people who are feeling worn out at the end of their rope. Maybe they suffer from anxiety problems. Ashwagandha is going to help alleviate a lot of that anxious energy, but it's going to give you a more solid foundation of energy. So we're going to add three ounces of ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a very exciting herb for uh, the brain. Like Eulithero, the Siberian ginseng that, that promotes uh, mental acuity, ashwagandha is actually the only herb that promotes neurogenesis. Neurogenesis is the creation of new neurons, aka brain cells. So if you were like me, when I was raised, we were told that we get a finite amount of brain cells, and then maybe we spend a few years in college killing those brain cells, and then that's it. Well, it's not true. The reason why there was a misunderstanding around it is that brain cells divide differently than normal cells. Brain cells are actually made from uh, stem cells, while normal cells split. So. Ashwagandha is an herb, the only herb that actually promotes the, uh, that process of growing new neurons, so it's great for mental health. Combine that with the uh, Eulithero, you have a very strong brain tonic. So we have three ounces of the ashwagandha. We are going to add two ounces of Hishowu extract. Now if you're not using a powdered extract, add four ounces of a normal Hishowu. Hishowu is a Chinese herb. It's a Chinese tonic herb for the kidney essence. 
the kidney essence is kind of our, our root of our youthfulness and our root of our longevity. He Shou Wu translated into English actually means the dark haired Mr. Wu. People like to use He Shou Wu to keep their hair growing and uh, full and keeping its original color. So if you're starting to get thinner hair, if you're starting to uh, go gray, He Shou Wu is a great thing to add to bring back that, uh, the luster and the fullness of your hair. It's called the black haired Mr. Wu because as the legend goes, Mr. Wu was kept in a Chinese prison uh, from his, his, his uh, youth into his extreme old age. And during that time, he didn't age at a normal process. He kept his youthful characteristics. He kept his dark hair. And in prison, they didn't give him any food. All that he ate was this vine that was growing in through the window. That vine was He Shou Wu. That's how we started to associate it with the kidney essence, with the dark hair. So we have two ounces of the He Shou Wu extract. If you're using a, the normal prepared He Shou Wu, use four full ounces. To that, we're going to add one and a half ounces of dried goji berries. I'm including the dried goji berries here because they're deeply nourishing, they're deeply nutritive to your whole body. They're also a strong yin tonic. That's going to help balance out some of the other herbs that we're including in this, which make it a little more yang. We want to always be balancing the yin and the yang energies. So we're going to add one and a half ounces of goji. Next, we're going to add two ounces of reishi spores. Reishi spores promote a healthy shen essence. Now, the shen, of course, is your spirit. So this is gonna produce a stronger shen. That's, uh, that's great because, of course, life isn't purely physical. It's also mental, it's emotional, it's deeply interwoven with our spirit and our spirituality. So we're adding the two ounces of reishi spores. Reishi is also a strong immune tonic. It's a strong immune modulator, which means that it corrects your immune system. If you have a slow or sluggish immune system, it's going to boost that. If you have an overactive immune system, it's gonna pull it back. So regardless if you're having an autoimmune disorder, which is an overactive immune system, or if you have some type of hypoimmune response, a diminished immune response, it's going to boost that. Of course, reishi is the royal mushroom of China for longevity. It's probably the most strongest longevity herb that has been used in China. Going with that theme of immune system tonics, we're going to add one ounce of astragalus. We're only adding one ounce of astragalus in this because it's actually an immune stimulant. If you do have an overactive immune system, omit the astragalus. We're, we're adding astragalus in this mainly for reasons of longevity. Now, if you think about longevity on the cell, cellular or the DNA level, what happens over time is that your chromosomes start to break down. As they break down, they reproduce incorrectly, and that's the process of aging at the DNA level. Each chromosome is protected by something called a telomere. A telomere is like that plastic bit at the end of your shoelaces. It protects your shoelace. Over time, that plastic bit gets worn down, and then your shoelace starts to become damaged. The shoelace is your chromosome, and the telomere is that plastic piece. There's an enzyme in the body called telomerase. Telomerase protects the telomere from breaking down, which in turn protects the chromosome from damage. Higher levels of telomerase means healthier, stronger telomeres, which means no chromosome damage. Astragalus is unique in that it's the only herb that we know of that boosts your levels of telomerase. So as you age normally, your levels of telomerase goes down. Astragalus is going to increase those levels of telomerase, prohibiting any damage to your DNA. Moving forward, we're going to add one ounce of schizandra berry. Schizandra berry is used in Chinese medicine to balance all five elements. It's also a very beautifying herb. It's the Chinese herb for beautifying the skin. It's also a strong sexual tonic, so it's gonna revive some of that sexual energy. Thinking more along those lines of sexual energy, we're also going to add one ounce of Damiana. Damiana 
is a Western herb, but thinking about it in terms of a classical Chinese medicine, Damiana is a kidney essence tonic. It's also a prostate tonic. To the Damiana, we're going to add two ounces of sarsaparilla. Now, sarsaparilla is a very strong blood purifier. It was actually used by indigenous cultures in the Americas to treat syphilis and gonorrhea. It's also a strong anabolic agent, meaning that it's gonna help build lean muscle. It's also gonna help you burn fat. It also has a very good flavor, which is gonna flavor the final product. To the sarsaparilla, we're gonna add two ounces of sassafras. Sassafras is a whole body tonic. It's gonna promote uh, the return to homeostasis. Like the sarsaparilla, it's going to add a very unique, very strong flavor to the final product. We're going to add half an ounce of star anise. Star anise is a warming circulatory agent. It's going to both warm the body and produce better circulation. Now, circulation is key, especially when you're thinking about tonic herbs. What good are tonic herbs if you can't get them to all areas of your brain and your body? So including a warming stim circulatory stimulant, you're gonna help deliver those tonic herbs. Star anise is another flavoring agent in this formula. To the star anise, we're gonna add five ounces of fresh ginger root. Again, just like the star anise, it is a circulatory stimulant and a warming agent. It's also gonna add flavor to the final product. I'm thinking about flavor in building this formula because we're looking for something that's going to taste very gourmet and very uh, finished, but also has many tonic qualities. And then we're going to add half an ounce of licorice root. Now licorice root is a strong adrenal tonic. Think about licorice in terms of a food that specifically targets the adrenals. Don't be afraid of using licorice. A lot of people think that it contains estrogen. Think of it in terms of uh, balancing hormones through feeding the adrenal glands. Now, in traditional Chinese medicine and also in classical Chinese medicine, licorice is used in almost every herbal, herbal formula because it harmonizes the formula. It melds it together into one. So we're gonna add this licorice because it's a strong adrenal food and also because it's going to meld this formula. Last but not least, we're going to add one whole vanilla bean. We're doing the vanilla bean purely for flavor. Now when you're doing the vanilla bean, you want to slice them lengthwise and then normally you scrape the insides out and use that, but we're just going to open this vanilla bean up, smell it because it smells so amazing and then just stick it in here. So now we have our entire herbal formula. We haven't added our menstruum to it yet, but we're going to. After you add your, your alcohol to this, you wanna let it sit for two weeks minimum, six weeks maximum, and then strain it. We're going to do the straining on a separate video because I wanna give everyone an opportunity to get started on this. This is a great daily tonic for use during the winter months as well as the summer months, but because it's still winter, you might as well get started making this. After we strain this and press it, we're going to add eight ounces, which is uh, just about half a pint of black cherry juice concentrate. Now this is actually a component of the herbal formula. It's also a flavoring agent. Black cherry juice is probably the strongest herb for treating kidney stones that are due to uric acid and also for treating gout. So after we have the finished product, we're going to add the black cherry juice to it. I'm just showing this to you now. And then we're also going to sweet, sweeten it with a little raw wildflower honey. Wildflower honey is gonna do two things. It's actually gonna do three things. It's going to help preserve it because honey preserves things. It's going to sweeten it to make you want to drink this. But wildflower honey is also interesting because bees actually target medicinal plants when they're collecting pollen. So given an opportunity to forage how they want to be foraging, 
they will target the medicinal plants and bring back these uh, almost homeopathic doses of a full spectrum of, di of different medicinal plants. So it's actually a medicinal component as well as a sweetener and a preserver. So let's get started here. We have one quart measured out already of brandy. Now use a high grade brandy, but you don't have to use something too expensive. You just want to really stay away from anything that has any kind of artificial flavoring. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. So we're just going to pour that in here. Now you might need to uh, put the lid on here and shake it up to make sure that it all gets distributed. So there you have it. This is the end of step one. Now you just want to store this in a cool place. After two weeks, I'm going to go ahead and press this and then add the final ingredients to it. I'll keep it in the fridge and take it on a daily basis. Probably two tablespoons, maybe half an ounce per day. I hope you enjoyed this. I want you to make this. If you don't have all of these ingredients, I know it's a lot, just substitute or omit where necessary. The important thing is, of course, is that you get down and dirty, that you make things and that you use them. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a really great day.